Number 15, the Graf Diamonds Robbery. This story of lost treasure happened on the premises of Graf Diamonds in London in 2009. Lawrence Graf was known to collect the world's most magnificent diamonds and would sell them at auction. Two sharply dressed men posing as customers stole jewelry valued at more than $65 million. The haul included more than 40 items, including wristwatches, rings, bracelets, and a single necklace worth nearly five and a quarter million dollars. At the time, this was one of Britain's largest ever gem heists. The robbers were caught shortly afterwards, but none of the stolen items were ever recovered. The best guess is that the precious gems were recut and then sold anonymously. While four people involved are in jail, it was a confusing case, as one of the men said that he was forced into it by a man known as Kev and the Big Boss. The bosses who planned this robbery remain at large. Number 14, the Elysian Park Treasure. Founded in 1886, this is the oldest park in Los Angeles, and encompassing more than 600 acres, or two and a half square kilometers, it's among the largest as well. Stories of buried treasure have been linked to the park since at least the late 19th century. In 1896, an article about the search for gold was published about the wealthy cattle rancher Francisco Avila, who is said to have buried $100,000 in coins and jewels, as he was afraid of bandits. He buried the treasure along with a friend. After he died, only his wife knew the location, and she passed it on to a young girl, who told others to help her find it, but they never did. During the Mexican-American War, many other people are thought to have buried their treasure. Wealthy families were said to have buried gold and other valuables within the park's canyons to keep their fortunes safe. Many of those families may not have returned for their riches, or the secret hiding places may have been forgotten over time. Various sources claim that dugout tunnels have been located there, along with stones bearing curious markings. Who knows, maybe those are clues. It is illegal to dig there without a permit, so plan your quest accordingly. Number 13, Peking Man. These fossils were located in China during the 1920s and were dated to about 750,000 years ago. The partial skeleton was an example of Homo erectus and is regarded as a human ancestor. The fossils were stored in Peking at the Union Medical College. In 1941, they were shipped to the American Museum of Natural History in New York City, but they disappeared en route and never arrived at the destination. Various attempts have been undertaken to find the fossils, but they've all been unsuccessful. Some sources think the disappearance was intentional, while others think the fossils were a fabrication. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And now for number 12, but first, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let us know which treasure you would want to find in the comments below. Number 12, the Florentine Diamond. This gem was known by several other names, including the Tuscany Diamond. Weighing more than 137 carats, or 27 and a half grams, it was often regarded as the world's largest gem of its kind, but its origins were always disputed. According to some accounts, it was a rough stone from India. That version states that the Grand Duke of Tuscany acquired it sometime in the 17th century. It was later passed to Empress Maria Theresa of Austria and placed in the Habsburg crown jewels. When the Austrian Empire fell, the exiled rulers took it with them to Switzerland. It disappeared in 1918 and was never seen again. The prevailing theory goes that a person close to the royal family took the gem to South America with other valuables. Number 11, Da Vinci's Lost Mural. This painting is sometimes called The Lost Leonardo. Formerly known as the Battle of Anghiari, it depicted the victory of the Florence-led Italian League over their rival Milan in 1440. It was displayed in the Palazzo Vecchio, or Town Hall, in Florence in the early 16th century. But it disappeared in 1563, when the building was remodeled. In 2012, a group of art experts claimed that the painting might still exist within the hall, but was covered up by a subsequent fresco. The recovery effort was discontinued later that year due to disagreements between the experts. Number 10, The Lost Dutchman's Mine. Many experts regard this as the most famous lost gold mine in U.S. history. Legend has it that it's hidden in Arizona's Superstition Mountains east of Phoenix. It's named for a German immigrant named Jacob Waltz, who kept its location a secret after finding it in the 19th century. Treasure hunters have been seeking the location since at least 1892, and according to some estimates, some 8,000 people try to find the mine every year. Along the way, some adventurers have met violent ends, but so far, no one has uncovered this treasure. Number nine, the Copper Scroll Treasures. 
1952, an ancient scroll was discovered at the West Bank at the ancient archaeological site of Qumran. What made this scroll unique was that it wasn't made from parchment. It was crafted from alloyed copper to ensure it lasted. Dated to about 70 CE, it's one of the Dead Sea Scrolls but it doesn't contain a literary effort. There are various locations inscribed that theoretically indicate where huge amounts of gold and silver could be stashed away. Archaeologists think the Copper Scroll was hidden by locals to keep it away from the Romans during the times of rebellion against the Empire. It's been on display at the Jordan Museum of Amman since 2013. Number 8. The Amber Room Before it was lost, many people regarded this as an eighth wonder of the world. It was constructed during the 18th century in Prussia and was later installed at the Berlin City Palace in Germany. About 13,000 pounds of amber, almost six metric tons, were used to create the panels that adorned the chamber. Gold gilded mosaics, mirrors, and carvings were also found there. The German army looted the amber room in the 1940s. During that time, the room's art and panels were disassembled and shipped to Germany for construction. After that, the Amber Room was never seen again. But a replica was created, which opened to the public in 2003. It's located in the Catherine Palace, south of St. Petersburg in Russia. Number 7. The Tomb of Genghis Khan When he died in 1227 CE, he reigned over the largest contiguous empire in the history of the world. Before his death, the Great Khan requested to be buried without any markings or identification. His body was taken to Mongolia and presumably interred near his birthplace in the eastern part of the country. Legend has it that some 30,000 people were involved with his funereal process, which may have included the placement of a tomb. Those workers, along with anyone else who knew the burial site's location, were all executed. The burial site has still never been located, but whoever discovers the tomb of Genghis Khan might discover a valuable dividend. Some researchers think that the ruler was buried with a great assortment of riches. Number six, Oak Island Money Pit. If you're a fan of The Curse of Oak Island on the History Channel, then this segment might sound like a repeat. For those of you unfamiliar with this mysterious treasure, take heed. In other words, pay attention. Oak Island is found in Canada, off of Nova Scotia. For more than two centuries, rumors have swirled that all manner of treasures are located here. That includes everything from original Shakespearean manuscripts to the jewels of Marie Antoinette. The infamous pirate William Kidd is speculated to have buried booty that was worth millions of dollars. Early explorers called the original excavation site the Money Pit, and that name persists to the 21st century. Although efforts have been ongoing since the 1800s, no significant treasure has ever been located. But as the title of the TV show alludes, there is a curse associated with Oak Island. It states that seven men will perish before the treasure is recovered. At last count, six men have died while trying to find it. Number five, Antony and Cleopatra's tomb. According to ancient writings, Cleopatra VII and Mark Antony were buried together in a tomb following their deaths. Plutarch, the Greek biographer and essayist, wrote that the tomb could be found near a temple of the Egyptian goddess Isis. It was described as a beautiful monument made of treasures like gold, silver, emeralds, and pearls. In 2010, excavations were conducted at a site near Alexandria, Egypt, at a temple of Osiris. 27 tombs of Egyptian nobles, along with artifacts depicting Antony and Cleopatra, have been located in the vicinity. But the tomb has yet to be located. Excavations continue, but have advised caution. Even if Cleopatra's tomb did survive to the 21st century, it might be unidentifiable at this point. That's because it may have been pillaged and looted over the ages. Number four, the lost treasure of Lima. A fortune estimated at more than $200 million was removed from Lima, Peru in 1820. The huge treasure had been accumulated by the Roman Catholic Church since the 1500s. When Lima was teetering on the edge of revolt, the city had to be evacuated. That led the church officials to transport treasures, including jewels and gold statues, to Mexico for safekeeping. But after the items were loaded on board a vessel, the ship's crew and captain turned pirate and sailed off to Cocos Island near Costa Rica. That's where they allegedly buried the treasure. The crew was later caught and executed, except for the captain and the first mate. They agreed to lead the Spanish back to Cocos Island to recover the treasure. But the two escaped into the jungle, so the exact location was never revealed. 
Despite the efforts of countless adventurers, the treasure remains lost. Number three, the Ark of the Covenant. Aside from Indiana Jones, archeologists still can't puzzle out what happened to this legendary artifact. It was said to be held in Jerusalem when the city was conquered in 587 BCE by the Babylonians. The army sacked the city and destroyed the first temple, in which the Ark was allegedly stored. But history is unclear as to what happened to the Ark. Some ancient sources claim it was hidden prior to the city's invasion, or carried back to Babylon, and it's possible that it was destroyed during the conflict. Stories and legends have since grown concerning the fate of the Ark. Some of the more popular theories claim that the Ark somehow made its way to Ethiopia, where today it is stored and guarded in a treasury. Number two, Flor de la Mar. Translated from the Portuguese as the Flower of the Sea, this was a 16th century sailing vessel, Weighing some 800,000 pounds, or 363 metric tons, it played an important role in maritime events in the Indian Ocean for nearly a decade. When it sat off the coast of Malaysia in 1511, the ship was purportedly carrying a huge treasure trove for the Portuguese monarch. Unlike a lot of legends involving lost riches, Flor de Lamar's valuables had been documented after they were looted from a sultan's palace in Malacca. But that doesn't provide a treasure map. The ship was caught in a storm and sank near Sumatra. All the cargo was hopelessly lost, and today the ship still remains unrecovered on the sea floor. Attempts at locating are complicated because Indonesia, Portugal, and Malaysia have all claimed salvage rights. Number one, a criminal fortune. He died in 1935, but Dutch Schultz is still considered one of the most notorious mobsters in US history. At the time, there was money to be made in bootlegging alcohol. As the FBI was closing in on him, Schultz feared he would be incarcerated, so he had a special airtight and waterproof safe constructed into which he sealed $7 million in cash and bonds. Along with an associate, he drove to an undisclosed location in upstate New York and had the safe buried. It's believed to be somewhere in the Catskill Mountains, where locals say they saw men wearing fedoras and carrying shovels. While he was arrested, no jury could convict him. At the time he died, the safe wouldn't have been moved because neither Schultz nor his associate were thought to have shared its location. While it's still the object of many treasure hunters, the safe has never been recovered. But if someone does find it, they're in for an epic payday. That $7 million stash would today be worth more than $130 million, adjusted for inflation. While he led a very colorful life, a life of crime doesn't pay, and he died at the age of 33 from a gunshot wound. Number 10, China's Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster has apparently been spotted in China. Footage has recently appeared of what appears to be a long and dark creature swimming through the waters of China's famous Yangtze River, and people have compared it to the Loch Ness Monster. The video was filmed near the city of Yichang in the Hubei province. The creature slithers kind of like a giant eel or snake, looking like the Loch Ness Monster's elongated neck hovering near the surface of the water. While the creature has not been properly identified by any professionals, some experts are wondering if the monster isn't some kind of mutant transformed by the pollution inside of the Yangtze River. Professor Wang Chunfang with the Huazhong Agricultural University dismissed any notion that the creature could be a new species, saying that it was probably just a water snake. But that hasn't stopped the rumors from running wild. It also didn't stop biologist Ding Li from saying that whatever the monster was, it couldn't have possibly been a fish or a snake. As of now, we don't know what this copycat Loch Ness Monster really is. The Yangtze River is the longest river in all of Asia, stretching about 3,900 miles. It's polluted, dirty, and filled with all kinds of strange animals. Do you think it's possible that an animal became mutated due to the pollution in the river? We don't know exactly what mix of chemicals could cause ordinary water snakes to become grotesquely large. It seems plausible to me, though. Number 9. Mysterious Creature Something strange was caught at night on a woman's home security camera. Nobody knows what in the world the creature is, but everyone can agree that it looks like an alien wandering around in the woman's driveway. Vivian Gomez posted the clip from her security camera online, revealing a small, skinny, and rather alien-like thing moving down her driveway. According to Gomez herself, the video was taken at about 9 p.m. Some have speculated that the creature could simply be a weird-looking neighborhood kid, while others are convinced it's something extraterrestrial. Gomez even said that her neighborhood doesn't have any children. 
And besides, the thing's not even wearing any clothes. There's no reasonable explanation for what was captured on her camera. Nothing like it has been seen again since. Investigators' best guess is that it's a lost alien trying to figure out where it parked its spacecraft. It's definitely not a dog, and it's really nothing that walks on four legs. Unless it's some kind of freaky ghost or mutant sewage monster crawled out of the gutter, it must be an extraterrestrial visitor. What else could it be? Number 8. Deer in a Wig Yet another unbelievable creature was captured on camera, freaking out everyone on the internet. This time, the unreal creature was caught on a trail camera in North Carolina. In all honesty, the creature looks like a deer wearing a pretty bad wig. In fact, it is a deer, but the thing on its head makes it look like some kind of mutant. Apparently, the deer was actually suffering from a brutal condition called antleroma, making it look like a monster. Trust me, you do not want antleroma. Even hearing about it is enough to make you cringe. The image of the deformed deer was uploaded by NC Candid Critters, captured using one of the cameras in their trap program. According to deer experts from NC Wildlife Resources, the deer was a buck and it was experiencing abnormal antler growth. The abnormal growth looks like a bunch of grapes or an extra brain growing out of the deer's head. Antleroma is what happens when a deer's antlers grow into knots, sometimes even growing in reverse. The result can be fatal, as sometimes the antlers will grow directly into the deer's brain, penetrating its skull to cause a slow and painful death. Knowing what you know now, isn't it painful just to even look at it? Seriously, this looks disturbing and scary. Number 7. Unidentified Beast Something strange was pulled out of a creek in the Canadian province of Ontario. Nobody's sure what the beast could be, but local Aboriginal elders did refer to the dead creature as a bad omen of things to come. Some have even said that the strange animal sighted near the Hudson Bay could be related to the mythical Ogopogo that lives in the Okanagan Lake and is thought to be some kind of water dragon. Others have been a bit more practical, commenting that the animal looks more like a beaver or a muskrat or even a possum, some animal that had been diseased or otherwise misshapen. Some think it was just a dog that fell into the creek and got soggy from decomposition. The creature had brown fur, a completely white face, and it was only about a foot in length. Two nurses found the thing while walking along the creek. Their dog pulled it out of the water. The nurses described a horrific odor seeping off the carcass of the unidentified monster, though that's not entirely unheard of for a waterlogged corpse. So far, nobody's identified the monster. Its corpse is long gone. We may never know the truth. Number 6. The Ugwug The Ugwug is yet another strange creature sighted in Canada. Its name may be funny, but the legend of the creature is anything but comical. This beast lives west of St. John, supposedly inside the caves that hide beneath the reversing falls. The creature was first spoken of in Inuit legends. The ancient Inuit people detailed a creature about 90 feet, 28 meters long, only ever seen in the spring when the tide is all the way out and the moon is full. The creature is half salmon and half seal. It has big red eyes and an insatiable appetite. But believe it or not, there could be more to this legendary Canadian sea monster than just old Inuit fables. There have been eyewitness reports from as recently as the 1950s. There was apparently a diver who witnessed the monster in the waters below the falls and became so scared that he fell off the side of the cliff and died. Many visitors in the area have reported seeing a large reptilian type of animal thrashing at the bottom of the falls. It could just be some type of bizarre crocodile-like animal, or it could be something scarier entirely. Number 5. Japanese Mystery Wolves On a chilly day in December, Rina Kambayashi came face to face with a creature she had never before witnessed in all her life. It happened after opening the front door of her traditional Japanese house. Rina flung the door open and saw a massive dog-like animal standing in the shrubs at the edge of the forest and staring at her. They were only about 10 feet, 3 meters apart, locked in a sudden staring contest. This happened at Rina's rural residence on the outskirts of Chichibu, in the Saitama prefecture. Rina gawked at the animal for a few long seconds before shouting for her mother to bring her a camera. The shouting scared the mysterious canine, though, and it disappeared into the bamboo forest. According to what the Japan Times wrote of Rina's encounter, the animal had a triangular snout, a flat face, patchy black fur, and it looked like a weird mix between a dog and a wolf. Now experts are saying that the creature Rina spotted on her property could be a mysterious Japanese wolf that went extinct over a hundred years ago. The extinction happened as Japan industrialized during the late part of the 19th century. If true, it would mean less than a handful of these wolves still roam the land. Have you ever encountered an animal that you thought was extinct? Or perhaps one you didn't think lived in your part of the world? I've seen deer, foxes, and coyotes while walking around outside, but you probably have more interesting encounters. Tell me about them in the comments below. Then subscribe to American Eye if you haven't already. Number 4. A Molted Demon In Florida, a woman found a dead creature in the back of her Titusville home. People online are claiming it to be a demon. Obviously, that sounds ridiculous, right? But listen to this. Kelly Garahan snapped photos of the twisted carcass she found in her yard and posted them online, mentioning that the creature was about 3 feet, 1 meter long. Kelly asked if anyone online could tell her what the mysterious beast was. And as you might imagine from the internet, most people's suggestions weren't very helpful. 
One guy said it was beef jerky, someone else said it could have been a chupacabra, and nobody could really identify what the thing was. Honestly, it looked like the molted skin of a demon. Could it have been some type of reptile? They shed their skin, but this didn't resemble any normal reptile. Finally, a biologist came forward and told Kelly that the creature was probably a possum or a dead otter. As for how it came to be all black and stretchy like a shed demon's skin, that's another question entirely. Could it have been burned off or fallen in a vat of chemicals? It's possible, but we may never know for sure. Number 3. Long-Necked Lizard A mysterious creature has been spotted in Scotland, and there are fears growing that it's a dangerous breed of lizard. The mysterious animal was photographed in the Stirlingshire countryside. At first glance, it looks like a miniature brontosaurus, you know, one of those long-necked dinosaurs. However, experts say it could be a giant monitor lizard. That's right, monitor lizards living in Great Britain. That doesn't seem plausible though, right? But they might have escaped from captivity and begun to breed and multiply. According to Richard Pigram, monitor lizards can grow to be up to 10 feet, 3 meters long, and very dangerous. Richard tried to warn the Scottish public that if huge 10-foot, 3-meter long monitor lizards are really multiplying in the Scottish countryside, that is a huge problem. Obviously, you or I wouldn't want to encounter one of these in the wild. And yes, if their size wasn't enough, monitor lizards have venomous bites. They can kill pets, eat kids, and just one bite can cause swelling, profuse bleeding, and sometimes even death. Unfortunately, nobody has legitimately identified the creature that was photographed. It could just be a baby Nessie trying to get back to her home, or it could be something more sinister entirely. Number 2. Dinosaur Remains Yet another bizarre dinosaur-like creature was spotted recently. This one was found in India, or at least that's what initial reports seem to indicate. As far as the facts go, apparently the body of a weird animal was uncovered in Uttarakhand. It was estimated to be roughly a foot long, 0.3 meters long. But the strange part is that it looked just like a small dinosaur corpse. Now, we know that dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes, including miniature ones no longer than a chicken. Some have claimed it could be a genetically distorted goat fetus, but others think it looks like a baby dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Unfortunately, not everyone is convinced about the weird creature's dino origins. Paleontologist Thomas Holtz Jr. said that there's actually nothing mysterious at all about the corpse found in India. Holtz said that the remains belong to some kind of carnivorous mammal, most likely something in the weasel family. He went on to say that anyone who thinks the corpse looks like a dinosaur doesn't know what a dinosaur really looks like. But honestly, that just seems a little rude. To be frank, no scientist has ever actually seen a real-life dinosaur. They could have looked like this strange creature, and to dismiss it out of hand is a little weird, don't you think? Number 1. Lion Dog Something weird is going on in Nebraska. A creature was just spotted with giant teeth, weird orange fur, and way too many similarities between both a lion and a dog. The creature looked like a lion dog. It was discovered by a woman named Angie Kettleson near her home in Martinsburg. Her dog dragged the disgusting hybrid all the way to the front door of her home. At first, she thought it was a raccoon whose hair had been bleached a bright orange color because of the sun. However, after posting the images to social media, it became clear that Angie may have discovered some kind of monster. Some thought the animal could have been a blonde raccoon, some called it a chupacabra, and others said it was some type of mutant dog with lion's teeth. Whatever the creature was, it had already decayed when Angie's dog dragged it home. What makes this case unique is that nobody actually came forward to propose a reasonable theory for the identity of the monster. All joking aside, nobody could really reconcile the animal's dog-sized stature with its lion-like hair and huge predatory teeth. Even two years after the beast was photographed, nobody has a clue what it was. What's the strangest creature you've ever spotted? Perhaps something at the beach or in the woods or even just in your backyard. Number 10. Pygmy Tarsiers Here is an animal that you have definitely never heard of. This primate is absolutely bizarre. It fits easily in the palm of your hand and looks like a cross between a monkey, a lemur, and a space alien. It almost looks like a Furby. But what is really interesting about the pygmy tarsier is that scientists had already given up on this animal and assumed it was extinct. In fact, these animals are considered data deficient, as there is almost nothing known about their species, and they were already thought to have been gone. But according to a report in NBC News, one of these primates was found dead in a rat trap in the year 2000 in Indonesia, which definitely suggests that they are still alive. Then in 2008, three specimens were caught and tagged, and so this is a confirmation that these bizarre and unknown little monsters really do exist. The big question here is how much longer they can exist, and if something can pop back from extinction overnight, can it also slink back into the timeless void of non-existence? With about 60 villages slowly encroaching on the pygmy tarsier's mountain territory, it does not look like a rebound is set to happen, which makes us very sad. Number 9. Rab's Fringe-Limbed Tree Frog 
As you might imagine, there are a lot of frogs in the jungle. In fact, there are 17,291 species currently threatened by extinction, many of them tree frogs and many more of them in the jungle. This particular fella, who looks innocent enough with his frog green skin and big eyes, lived only in the mountains which surround the town of El Valle de Anton in Panama. As you have probably guessed, deforestation caused a brutal mass extinction of this poor little frog. Despite captive breeding efforts, everything to save the frog from ultimate doom has failed. And while these frogs are basically considered extinct, in 2006 a single solitary male has been heard calling in the wild. Could this lone tree frog be the savior of the species? Or is he calling to a mate that doesn't exist? Number 8. Mexican Grizzly Bear You probably never knew that grizzly bears wandered from Mexico to as far north as the state of Colorado. Yes, there were actually grizzly bears thriving in Mexico. However, humans arrived and, well, you know the rest of the story. These bears were considered officially extinct in 1964, yet miraculously continue to be seen throughout North America. There have been incredible sightings in southern Colorado, and it is starting to seem like these once extinct grizzlies from the south are making their way back into the world of the living. Evidence has been found in Mexico of claw marks and footprints, all of it suggesting that Mexican grizzly bears are still alive, but extremely elusive. They may be living in the most remote regions still available to them in North America. However, it's highly doubtful that any wild animal could survive much longer, with their habitat being slowly crushed by residential expansion. And now for number 7, but first, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos like these. Number 7. Tasmanian Tiger Tasmanian tigers have been extinct in Australia and Tasmania since 1936. This is according to official records. They were hunted to death because they were a threat to the livestock of the people. And yet, even though they've been officially gone for more than 70 years, there have been supposed sightings of Tasmanian tigers, not only in Tasmania, but also in mainland Australia. None of the sightings have been confirmed scientifically, but these were real people who spotted them. And yes, they were sober. In 1979, there was one mass sighting of a single Tasmanian tiger by fencing workers early in the morning. This was a daytime report of more than one person who spotted a Tasmanian tiger. Add to this incident almost a dozen additional sightings over the years, and there is definitely some shaky evidence that the Tasmanian tiger may be living in the wilds undetected. However, it could just be that the sightings have been wild dogs. Number 6. Yangtze River Dolphin Most people think dolphins only live in the ocean, but this isn't true. There are Amazonian river dolphins, and there are even pink river dolphins in some remote regions of Colombia. However, in the Yangtze River, a once prosperous group of dolphins was declared extinct in 2006. They'd been doomed ever since a massive dam was erected and a drastic increase in boat traffic ensued. Basically, the dolphins had nowhere to go and no hope of living. But recently, there have been reported sightings of this extinct dolphin in the Yangtze River. There was a massive undertaking in which 3,640 kilometers of water was searched for any proof of the dolphin, but there was no evidence found. The only possible evidence comes from eyewitnesses. The only hope left now is that somewhere in this massive river, there's a family of dolphins living in seclusion. It is a sad thing to think that an increase in boat traffic was able to kill off an entire species of river dolphin. Number 5. Loch Ness Monster I'm going to get into a lot of trouble on this one, but it must be mentioned. In the Scottish Highlands, there lays a lake. Of course, I'm talking about Loch Ness. Stories of a horrific monster living inside of Loch Ness are thousands of years old. While the lake only became globally famous in 1933 when sightings of something large and terrible living inside the lake spread across the world, even being mentioned in the New York Times in roughly 55 instances, there had been sightings much earlier than that. According to Popular Mechanics, there are texts roughly 1,500 years old that detail sea serpents and water horses living in the massive lakes of northern Scotland. Many people believe that because there have been consistent stories about the same lake and the same monster for almost 2,000 years, it's got to be true. But here is where some science comes in. Descriptions of the supposed Loch Ness Monster actually resemble an extinct animal. The animal, known as a Plesiosaurus, has supposedly been extinct for somewhere around 65 million years. 
However, the possibility of there being one alive in this incredibly deep lake known as Loch Ness is indisputable. Sure, it hasn't been proven, but it hasn't been disproved either. There could very well be an extinct dinosaur living at the bottom of the loch. Number four, dodo bird. This is a pretty cool scientific leap forward. While the dodo bird is undoubtedly extinct, the island where it used to call home is completely occupied by humans and there's not been a single dodo bird spotted in hundreds of years, it may be coming back sooner than expected. This is the beginning of a real-life Jurassic Park. According to an article in How Stuff Works, scientists in 2007 discovered the most well-preserved skeleton of a dodo bird ever, and it may be providing the DNA needed to bring back the exceptional bird from the lost gulf of extinction. A little information about the dodo bird. They were basically fat pigeons that went extinct because humans invaded their natural habitat and released dogs, pigs, rats, and even monkeys that ended up eating all the birds' eggs until they went extinct. It also didn't help that humans hunted the dodos and ate them into literal oblivion. And while some scientists still claim it's impossible, more scientists than ever are believing in the power of DNA reconstruction to bring back to life the dodo bird. But what would this mean for other lost animals? Could we see a pterodactyl soaring through the sky in 50 years? Let us know in the comments. Number three, coelacanth. If you're a fan of Animal Crossing, you know all about the coelacanth. Here is a fish that if still around today, would probably not be around for much longer. This fish is a shining example of how almost 400 million years of evolution can be dramatically cut short by a couple of humans draining the sea with their nets. The coelacanth is one of the oldest animals on Earth, with a lineage that can be traced back about 360 million years. Scientists originally thought these animals had already been dead and gone for 65 million years. However, the coelacanth was rediscovered in 1938. These miraculous fish grow to be six feet or longer, and they can live for around 60 years, and they have a fierce hunger for cephalopods. These are definitely prehistoric sea monsters. However, by the year 2020, it's unknown whether these animals are at risk of extinction, basically extinct, gone entirely, or if they can rebound. They were already presumed extinct until 1938. Can the coelacanth cement their place on Earth for another million years, or have they already faded away? Number two, Imperial Woodpecker. Some of you out there may not care about birds, but we do. So you're gonna hear all about the possibly extinct Imperial Woodpecker, which is probably the coolest woodpecker to have ever existed. This was once a thriving bird living in the high mountains of Mexico, but in the late 20th century, most people thought they'd vanished into extinction. It was commonly thought by many bird enthusiasts that the Imperial Woodpecker was completely extinct. But then a 16 millimeter film was found that revealed the very last footage ever caught of the majestic Imperial Woodpecker in the wild. The video only lasts a few seconds, but in the video you can see a female Imperial Woodpecker flying out of the brush and launching into flight. This renewed hope of the bird's existence on our planet. However, the skepticism is that the film was shot in 1956 by a man from Pennsylvania. Also, the film was shot from a handheld camera while the man sat on the back of a mule. And in 2010, according to the Daily Press, when two researchers from the Cornell Lab launched an expedition into the area to try and discover evidence of the Imperial Woodpecker, absolutely none was found. This is not good news for the Imperial Woodpecker. Is it still alive? Or did the female bird in the video from 1956 die off shortly after being captured on tape? Number one, woolly mammoths. As always, the best has been saved for last. Everybody's favorite elephant is back, supposedly. A recent video on YouTube showed what appeared to be a woolly mammoth crossing a river in Siberia. While there has not been a mammoth sighting in over a hundred years, this video is startling possible evidence that somewhere in the vast and utterly inhabited regions of Siberia, there live more woolly mammoths. And while you may think of the woolly mammoth as more of a dinosaur, they didn't actually die off that long ago. It was only about 4,000 years ago that the woolly mammoth officially became extinct. It's not hard to believe that a small group of these hairy elephants have remained alive in a frozen and snowy region of the earth where there is nobody to hunt them or videotape them. Of course, we all know a YouTube video is far from evidence, but it's still fun and exciting to think that the woolly mammoth could be brought back from extinction. If there are living mammoths and the right wildlife organization got to them first, we could see breeding of woolly mammoths until their numbers are recovered. 
It would have to be in zoos, but at least the population would not die in Siberia. And at least they would not be hunted for their big white tusks. Which of these amazing animals do you hope remains alive and well on our planet? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Be sure to catch the next amazing video, and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below, and be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.